In this tutorial, I'm going to give you an explanation of what balancing off accounts is. Balancing off accounts involves matching the debit and credit entries in an account to ensure that they are balanced. This is done by adding up the debit entries and credit entries for the period. The balance is the difference between the total debits and credits and it is usually carried forward to the next accounting period. Before I show you examples of how to balance off accounts, you first need to understand how to balance off accounts depending on the account types. I am going to use pearls to help you to determine which accounts are debit ones and which accounts are credit ones. Basically, the left side of pearls, which represents purchases, expenses, and assets are the debit accounts, whilst the right side, which represents revenue, liabilities, and sales, are the credits. A debit account is increased by a debit entry, whilst a credit account is increased by a credit entry. The opposite of this is true, which is a debit account is decreased by a credit entry and a credit account is decreased by a debit entry. Let us now dive into the balancing off of the accounts. Here is an account, D. James, who is a trade receivable. Trade receivable accounts have a debit balance. To balance off this account, first find the totals of the debit side and the credit side. The total on the debit side is 500 and the total on the credit side is 500. Subtracting the two totals gives zero. This means that D. James has paid up all of that he owed at the end of the financial period. Closing off this account is done by simply underlining both sides. Here is another account P. Brown. It is a trade receivable account. The total on the debit side is 970 and the total on the credit side is 600. The bigger number, which is 970, becomes the total on both sides. To find what the balance is, 600 is subtracted from 970 to give 370. Therefore, the balance is 370. This balance goes to the side with a smaller balance as balance carried down. This balance is brought forward to the next period as balance brought down. Another example is the account S. Smith. This is an account of a trade payable. A trade payable account has a credit balance. The credit balance is usually indicated by the balance brought forward from the previous year, which is on the credit side. However, this account does not have a balance brought forward. To balance off this account, find the totals of both sides. The total on the debit side is 250 and that on the credit side is 600. The bigger number, which is 600, becomes the total on both sides. To find what the balance is, 250 is subtracted from 600 to give 350. Therefore, the balance is 350. This balance goes to the side with a smaller balance as balance carried down. This balance is brought forward to the next period as balance brought down. I will give another example of a trade payable account. The total on the debit side is 600 and the total on the credit side is 600. The totals on both sides are equal. Therefore, the balance is zero. Closing off this account is done by simply putting the total is 600 on both sides in underlining. Since the balance of this account is zero, this means that the business has paid the amount that is owed to the trade payable. In summary, 
in the simplest of terms, the balance is found by subtracting the smaller total from the larger total.